What's up, Piper friends? Welcome to Tim School of Pipes and Classes in Session. Forgive me for my voice. I've got a little bit of a cold going on, so I feel kind of blah today. I'm not really up to my normal self. Today, I want to do a Saturday Sharp Things, and I want to look at one of my favorite knives from Rosecraft Blades. They are designed by Andy Armstrong. Andy was a knife designer at Smoky Mountain Knife Works for Rough Rider Knives for quite a long time, if you're familiar with Smoky Mountain Knife Works or Rough Rider. And then he started this business with some partners and I just absolutely love them. I think Andy Armstrong is the best designer of modern slip joints in the world, hands down. What I love about what he does is how he takes traditional slip joint patterns and puts a modern twist on them. And so with his knives, you get that traditional slip joint appeal with modern materials and a modern flair, and they are just gorgeous. So most of you guys know by now that I've been on YouTube for a while. I've been a pipe smoker for 22 years, and I have a fairly successful knife channel called Tim School of Fish. So I've done a ton of knife reviews and Rosecraft blades are simply my favorite, hands down. The value for these knives, the fit and finish is just exceptional. They've got a new one that is actually in my mailbox right now, but in my neighborhood, we have one of those big metal mailboxes at the front of the subdivision, kind of like um, they do in apartments. I absolutely hate it. I gotta move farther out into the country. I'm kind of out of the the city. It's not a huge city, but I'm not right down in it. I'm in the suburbs. It's still not far enough out. But anyway, my wife has the mailbox keys in her car and she is not home right now. So I was gonna show you guys that one, but it's sitting in the mailbox. That one's coming out soon. Anyway, I'm rambling. I could talk about Rosecraft and knives and pipes and sports all day long. If you like these Rosecraft blades, I have a code, a discount code for rosecraftblades.com, which will save you 10% on all uh, regular priced items. It's one word, Tim Fish, from my other channel, Tim School of Fish. So the discount code is Tim Fish. I don't make any money off that. That's not what that's all about. It's just to save you guys some money if you want to check out any of these Rosecraft blades. And as soon as I get that new one that's dropping here soon, I'll show that one to you guys as well. Without further ado, let's get this camera turned around and take a closer look. All right, so all of your Rosecraft blades traditional knives are going to come in this two-piece tray style box. This is the old branding on here. They have new branding. It's got the RCB with the rose crap with the rose wrap through it. It says Rosecraft Blades. On the side, we've got the rosecraftblades.com website. On the back, we've got uh, the name of our knife and the model number. This is the Rosecraft Clinch River Swayback. It's not gray. This is the bourbon bone. And the model number is RCT for Rosecraft Traditional 005. So let's open this bad boy up and take a look at this knife. All right, so this one is called the Clinch River Swayback. It is based on a traditional pattern called a swayback. Now, if you're not familiar with what a pattern is, a pattern in traditional slip joint knives is a basic design or frame, a basic um, outline or certain type of design is called a pattern. There's a lot of different patterns, the Barlow, is one of the oldest traditional knife patterns. Trapper, Stockman, Canoe, uh, Muskrat, uh, Congress, on and on. Uh, cigar pattern, Whittler pattern. There's all kind of different patterns. This is called a swayback because the back sways downward. Got a Warncliffe blade on here that's got a forward swedge on it and a great big finger choice. On the tang here, we've got RCB with the rose wrapped through it, and it says Rosecraft Blades underneath it. On the other side, we have Andy's Maker's Mark, 
which is that A crossbone, and this is D2 blade steel, which I absolutely love. We've got a brushed satin finish stainless steel bolster on here with a single thread. We've got nickel silver pins and a stainless steel rosebud shield. We've got a stainless steel back spring with stainless steel liners. Fit and finish is exceptional. On a traditional knife, you wanna look for gapping between this part called the covers and the bolster here there's no gapping there's no what we call stepping which is where one is higher than the other it's nice and smooth transition with no gaps we have no proud pins which means the pins are chamfered or sanded down nicely and none of them stick up we've got no gapping between our back spring and our liners here. What I love about these Rosecraft blade traditional knives is fit and finish is always exceptional. We've got a single nail nick pull on this one. Nice half stop. Our back spring is nice and flush at the half stop with no stepping and a good snap. At the fully open position, no stepping or gapping. Smooth walk and a nice loud chatty talk. So on slip joint knives, the walk is the motion, how it feels. It feels nice and smooth. There's no grittiness. There's a good snap to that half stop. You see how it jumps to that half stop? That's what we call the walk. The talk is the noise that it makes. So with traditional slip joint knives, a lot of guys are really concerned about that walk, walk and talk and I am one of them. So outstanding walk and talk. I also love that about Andy's knives. These covers here, this part is made out of bone and this is what we call bourbon bone. That's what color he calls it. So this is dyed bovine bone and it is absolutely gorgeous. Rosecraft blades does as good or better than anyone on their bone die. Rosecraft Blades won the 2023 Blade Magazine Imported Knife of the Year at Blade Show last summer. This one won the award for the best imported knife and it is very well deserving. That finger choil lets you choke up on this knife and really, really dig in so you can do a lot of work and really dig in on this one. Super comfortable in the hand. It is just an exceptional, exceptional knife. I absolutely love it. This is the Rosecraft Blades Clinch River Swayback. If you wanna see a more in-depth review on that, head over to Tim School of Fish and I've got an entire playlist of Rosecraft Blades traditional knives. Over here on this channel, I try to keep my knife reviews a little more relaxed and just more like a conversation and less like a review. So there you go, boys and girls. Just wanted to share that one with you guys today for Sharp Things Saturday. That is the Rosecraft Blades Clinch River Swayback with the Bourbon Bone Covers. As always, guys, I appreciate you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you have any Rosecraft Blades traditional slip joint knives. Don't forget, if you want to go check them out, you can use code TIMFISH, all one word, TIMFISH, at the RosecraftBlades.com website and save 10% on all regular priced items. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Just click my logo, my picture, right over there. That's it for this episode of Tim School Pipes, boys and girls. Class dismissed.